Want to learn how to change your character's outfit or adding unique style on your AI images? Stable Diffusion Lycoris can help you. Let's check it out. Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to use Lycoris in Stable Diffusion Automatic 1111. Lycoris basically stands for Lower Beyond Conventional Methods, Other Ank Adaptation Implementations for Stable Diffusion. Yeah, basically it's similar to that of LoRa. It's a collection of methods for making small changes to Stable Diffusion Checkpoint model. So that's what we're going to be dealing with today. So this is the one that I found. Uh, this is uh, like Oris, as you can see, it's uh, called like Oris here. Now, in order for you basically to use like Oris, you need to have an additional extension in Automatic 11.11 for it to work. So this one, you just have to basically just copy this one. And then you're going to go to the extension, install from URL, and basically just install it from here. Yeah, there you go. So that is what you're going to do. And then afterwards, you're going to click apply and quit. So basically, we're going to restart this one. And then that's what we're going to do. We're just going to wait for it to work. Now we're waiting for stable diffusion to reload. So I'm going to show you how to find like Horus models. Basically, all you have to do is go here and submit AI. And then you're just going to click models. There you go. And then we're going to go here in the funnel option. So we're just going to click here like Horus, just like that. And then you're going to have to reload this one. And that's how you're going to do it. So yes, after that one, you should be able to find like chorus models. Say, for example, I already have it here. So these are the like chorus models available. And the one that I've chosen is this one. So I'm interested in using this like chorus models partnered with a cyber realistic model. And what I'm planning to do is something like this. Okay, so just let's just close this one. All right, here. So this is, I think, uh, something that interests me. So it's kind of like a cyberpunk girl. And then I'm going to try to create a, a centaur with this one. And let's see how it works. So we're going to go back and then wait for stable diffusion to load. Okay, now we're back in stable diffusion. And as you can see, I've chosen here cyber realistic model. And then we're going to basically check our like worries. We're just going to click this one here. And then we're going to click Laura. Yes, Laura. Not like Aquarius, so the, basically you're going to put them in the same folder and it should work just fine. And then we're going to scroll down here. Okay, there you go. So this is my Centaur concept and this is the one that we're going to be using. Now, again, I'm interested in this particular image. So we're going to be trying to copy and then try to generate something of that similar to this one. So we're just going to put it here and then the other one as well. So basically the negative prompt, we're going to put it there as well. Okay, there you go. And then we're going to basically add our Laura or our like Horus. There you go. And yes, it will just function like that, or it will just say here Laura, but it's actually like Horus. Don't worry, it's going to be okay. So we're going to close this one. And then another thing is the uh no. There we go, the trigger words. We're gonna be needing the trigger words. So I'm gonna be putting here a uh, centaur or tor. So that's what we're going to be doing. And then we're going to close this one and then we're going to do other options as well. Okay, so let's try here. We're going to be using this one and then let's increase it to 50. Yes, 50 steps. That's amazing, right? <laughs> and then we're going to increase this one into a portrait image. Okay, and then let's try to generate about uh, four images or maybe six. I think six would be great. And then let's reduce this to about uh, six. We're going to follow the prompt closely. And then we're going to be, uh, you know, try to generate seed on our own first. We're going to leave it at that. And then later, if it doesn't work, we're going to try using this seed. For the AD Tailor, I use AD Tailor because I want to basically, uh, this one looks very sad. So basically, I'm going to be, uh, I want the image to basically just smile. You know, very simple, smile. So that's just what I'm going to be writing. All right, and then once that's done, I'm just going to click generate and then we'll just have to wait. All right, so I guess we're done. We're just going to open these up. Wow, so these are amazing images. I'm going to open them one by one into uh, the new tab. All right, there you go. So this is the first image. Wow, is it amazing? So we have a centaur here and take a look at that lady. So a very beautiful woman. And also the bouquet effect. So, yeah, pretty amazing picture. The same thing here. We have a centaur as well. Um, this one, though, too tall. And then the body, I think, where a centaur is a little bit uh, low. So, 
have a ideal. Okay, this I think is pretty beautiful. Um, yeah, congratulations. All right, there is another image. We have another here. This one as well. Okay, so basically that's how you're going to do it. Now we're going to try one more time and then we're going to basically just uh, load up one. Um, okay, this one. So we're going to try loading and loading this seed over here. And let's see how it goes. So I'm just going to add it here. And then we're going to load a number this time to three. So we're going to be using about three image this time. So I'm just going to generate and then we'll just have to wait. Okay, it seems like these are done. So we're going to open them more. Uh, still the same. Open new page. Uh, not that ideal. Okay, not so good as well. Okay, it seems like this one is the best so far. Okay, there you go. I think this one is going to be the best so far. Mm, I think they're a beautiful girl. So yeah, that's how you're going to use Lycoris. Congratulations, everyone. I hope you learned something in today's video.